but we're here in God's country, in the middle of the island. Uh, yes, we're at Dunkley's Dare here. And this initiative, I started with my brother probably 25 years ago. My, how time flies. We're getting old. Um, just to help the needy in the community. And it, it kind of started with an outreach from uh, Miss Beverly Taylor, who's a school teacher who I've known for many, many years. Uh, she's my stepsister. I fondly refer to her. She helps needy families in the community, and she's aware of those through what she does on a day-to-day -day basis. So it started uh, quite small, helping needy families, and then as I got in politics, I became aware of other people needy in the community work. And so now it's it's a, a tradition that we do, where we we have the staff come in two o'clock in the morning, make up the baskets, and and we put all the regular Christmas trimmings in with with uh, turkey, ham, uh, eggs, cheese, anything you can to to make a dinner. And of course, we finish it off with a nice Sara Lee pie, and then the eggnog gets put in there as well. And uh, it's it's our way of uh, continuing to give back to the community. My brother and I, with the staff here at Dunkley's, we realize that. Christmas is a very joyous time for many, many, many people. But there are people who struggle uh, for many reasons, and we're just trying to bring a little bit of light back into their life and give them some hope. And so uh, this tradition has, has become something quite big, where we have to enlist more staff to help us organize it. Um, but we're delighted, and we're honored to be able to have the opportunity to help help those in need and put a smile on their face. And as you saw when you first pulled up here at 2 o'clock, there was a line up ready, and, and you know people were jumping out of their cars and thankful and giving and hugs and stuff like that so you know for me Christmas is about spending time with family and friends but Christmas is also about peace joy love and hope and um, making people stronger and putting a smile on their face and, and um, this is a good thing to do and we'll keep doing it and approximately how many people uh, will be serviced today well we have just over 80 hampers in total so I'm sure a hamper can feed a full family um, and you know we have uh, many people ask and we go through a process to make sure we are helping the needy. Uh, in addition, uh, I will help out in the constituency and seniors in need with, with turkey vouchers and stuff. And we're blessed to live in a beautiful country, but there are people who struggle. And uh, those who can give, and even those who can't give much, should try to put a smile on other people's faces, because we're all in this together. You know, we're in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, and while we fight the challenges that we have at home and around the world, if we reach out and help each other, we'll be a stronger community. And uh, this is the foundation that my brother and I and our family have worked on for many, many, many years. While we're in business to make money, we realized you have to support the community. You have to support Bermudians because at the end of the day, we all rise together. And now speaking of business, you're aware that there has been a, a call to uh, boycott your products. Has that had any impact on, on you at all? Well, I don't get involved in the business on a day-to-day -day basis now because of my responsibilities as Premier. But, um, you know, obviously I'm aware of that. Uh, it's disappointing. Uh, I know there's many people in the, in the business here are frustrated by it because after all, we have close to 100 staff and uh, other than two, they're all Bermudian. You know, our, our Bermudian staff have come from the hills and the valleys around here in Devonshire and around Bermuda and we've always supported people and so when you say boycott a business because of individuals running the business or working in the business what you do is you hurt Bermudians and that's unfortunate now if you don't like the products that's another thing um, but we have to rise above that you know this is a season of hope this is not a season of hate so for those um, I'll turn my cheek the other way and say that you know we will rise together and um, I'll ask them to look the teachings of the Bible. Do unto others as you would have them do unto you. Well, every year, our Premier, the Honorable Michael Dunkley, donates food to needy families. We've been um, partnershiping, doing this for the past two decades almost, um, Mr. D Premier, and I connected many years ago. We've been friends ever since, and he generously gives, not only during Christmas time, but all throughout the year to school students. Um, when school starts, he provides food for needy families. He's a very very generous, caring person. And on behalf of all those children, um, we would like to say thank you. Thank you, thank you. And he also assists the seniors in our community. So we're really grateful once again in this year, 2016, and the year when we should give more. Uh, our Premier sees fit to continue to donate. Thank you. And I will say, Beverly, thank you for all the work you do in the community. Because
because I know you're a very busy professional, you have a family yourself, but you go above and beyond the call of duty and helping those in need. And certainly you and I couldn't do it if we didn't have all the support, especially my brother and all the staff here who make it happen. So we're putting a smile on some people's face and thank you. You're welcome and thank you. Yeah. What triggered the start to start this up? Um, over 20 plus years ago, I was um, asking for people in the community to help donate food and clothing to children in need. As a school teacher, I found um, many students who were coming to school hungry and the premier, he wasn't the premier then, but he reached out to me and assisted and we've been connected ever since. Going into the holiday season, give more, um, do more for others. You may have a neighbor or you know of a family that may not be able to get and buy, or a mother who may not be able to provide for her children um, like she would want to. I'm asking to go beyond the call of duty and give. As generous as Bermudians are, there's always someone out there without. And um, maybe you're at home and you may have a need. Can't say we will provide everything that you need, but. If we can assist in any way, you give us a call. We may be able to help you. Amen.